very first time I worked with chimpanzees, I realized that they were totally fascinating. And the experience you can give people on the big screen is a very powerful one. Chimpanzees have such an enormous potential for the cinema because of the fantastic narrative they offer. I've made wildlife films on almost every animal on this planet, in almost every habitat on the planet. By far the most challenging is working with chimpanzees in the rainforest. The production's been filming over four years in the Ivory Coast in West Africa. It's pretty fair to say it's in the middle of nowhere, and in many ways its remoteness is, is what's protected it. Our main location was a 10-hour drive, another four hours on a dirt road, which in the rainy season was almost impassable. Then it was a two-hour walk through a very small path into the centre of the forest. Our camp was designed to allow wildlife to pass through it. It's basically like the jungle with a roof over it. There are lots of unwelcome visitors that come into your camp. The whip scorpions really are quite gruesome looking creatures. Every now and again you get an army ant raid on the camp. Sometimes you get scorpions on the pathway as well. In the rainforest, there is a wet season, and we had to go there during the wet season. Not all animals like the rain as well, so you suddenly become this little dry oasis. And every now and again, snakes come into camp. One of the most venomous, and probably the most dangerous one we've had, was a rhinoceros viper. If we'd been bitten, there's almost no chance we would have survived. The bees are horrendous. Ow! It's got intolerable. I'm not leaving. We're out of here. I've had enough. The rainforest itself is not an easy place to work. The most important thing we did was to choose the best wildlife cameraman in the world. Martin Kolbeck is absolutely the top of his game. The quality of images that he got out of that forest are frankly startling. This was the most challenging project I've ever done. The canopy is very closed. The vegetation is very thick at ground level. I was always trying to find this little tiny window through the vegetation. There must be easier ways to make a living, but they're not as much fun. Bill Wallower is very fast in the forest, and he understands chimpanzees. The biggest challenge in capturing chimps is to actually move faster than the chimps, predict where they're going to come through, and to keep a safe distance. They're in a life and death situation. That's very important for the action sequences in the film. It's pandemonium, those intergroup encounters, and they're really quite frightening because you've got these enormous animals running all around you, screaming, and you don't know what's going on. And at one point, something terrible happens to this little boy's mother. Oscar, completely on his own in the forest, wouldn't have survived. You know, when that happened, we thought the film was over. We were about to ring up Disney and say, guys, we haven't got a movie. And then the most unpredictable thing happened, the adoption of our star by um, Freddy the Alpha Male, never filmed before in the wild. We were very keen to make sure that the beauty of the rainforest was brought to the big screen. In order to bring the trees to life, you need to sort of fly the camera through the forest. We'd put cables in the canopy of the rainforest and ran specially designed cameras that could track through the rainforest in a sort of beautifully smooth shot. On most days, the cameramen will get seconds of footage. You just live for those golden moments every now and again where it all comes together. And I think it's going to touch people as much as it touched us when we were there filming it. People often ask you as a wildlife filmmaker, what is your favorite animal? And I always say chimpanzees, and this movie has just confirmed my complete passion for these animals.